everyone welcome to tech wire in this video we are going to solve problem number 2477 minimum fuel cost to refer to the capital first we will see the explanation of the problem statement then the logic and finally the code now let's dive into the solution so from the problem statement we know that we have an undirected graph and then there is no cycles in it and we have cities from 0 to n and they are numbered as 0 to n minus 1 in our graph and the node 0 is the capital in this problem and there are representatives in each and every city right and the cost of the fuel to travel from one city to another city is 1 right and i have a representatives representing each and every city so i need to calculate the minimum fuel cost to reach capital that is to reach zero and we are also given that each and every city has a car and also has corresponding seats and all the seats will be equal right so the minimum fuel cost can be calculated by multiplying minimum cost required with the cost of fuel between two cities so we know from the question that cost of traveling from one city to reach the capital is 1 liter so i can replace with 1 here so we just need to find the minimum required cost to reach my capital so if you find the minimum required cost then that is my answer for the minimum fuel cost required to reach my capital so now we will see the logic so i'm going to use the dfs approach to solve this problem and here i have created the adjacency list so here zero has connected with one zero has connected with two and zero has connected with three right so like that i have created the adjacency list for all of the nodes by doing dfs i would be able to calculate the minimum required cars so the minimum required cars at each city can be calculated with people divided by seats so first i will start from the zero node so here i have mentioned one in each and every city which means there is one representative in each and every city and also there is one person at the node zero that is capital but i will not take that person into account since he is already in the capital i don't have to take that person in the calculation right so first i will start from node zero since i have visited node zero i will put that in my visited set then i will move to the adjacent node that is one i am doing dfs here then i need to append my one in my visited set since i visited one now from one i need to see whether is there any adjacent node is there or not since there is no any other node from 1 i'm going to perform the calculation as 1 divided by the number of seats and i'm going to round this fraction value to the next whole integer right and i'm going to add that in my minimum cars required so it will be 1 so as of now my minimum cars required is 1 now i am going to return this number of people to my zeroth node that is my root node just think it like a binary tree so i am going to return this number of people to the root node now the number of people become 2 so it's like two people are in the capital right now i will visit the second node since i will visit visited the second node i will add that in my visited set now i need to check whether is there any adjacent node is there or not since there is no adjacent node i am going to 
perform this calculation. So it will be 1 divided by 5 again. This 5 is nothing but the number of seats. People, that is 1 person is here, that is 1. And the number of seats is 5. So 1 divided by 5 and I'm going to round it to the next whole integer. It will be 1 and I'm going to add that 1 to this global variable minimum cars required. That is now it will become 2. Right? I'm going to return this 1 to my parent node. That is 0. So now it becomes 3. I'm just adding it in my root node. Right? Now I'm going to visit node 3. Since I have visited the node 3, I will put that in my visited set. Then I need to check whether is there any adjacent node is there or not. So adjacency node is nothing but I need to check whether is there any other node other than 0. Here 0 has been already visited. I am not doing BFS. I am doing DFS. So I need to check whether is there any other node. So something like which is not yet visited from 3. So if I had a 4 something like this then I would say I need to visit from 3 to 4. Since there is no other node from 3, I am just going to add this number of people that is 1 divided by 5 and I am going to round it to the next available whole integer that is 1 and I am going to add 1 to my minimum number of cars required. Then I am going to return this one to my root node and it will become 4 now in the root. So at the end, I will return the answer as 3. That is the minimum cars required. So you guys can be wondering why I am calculating the root node 4. So since I have taken a simple example here, when you have more nodes, then it will be very helpful. Then it is required. So since we need to calculate the root from each and every node, right? So think like a binary tree. If I have nodes like this, I need to calculate the root, right? At that time, it will be helpful. In this simple example, it is not much efficient. But you have more nodes, it would be helpful when you calculate the number of people required at, at the root node. Since you are going to do DFS from each and every node, right? So after visiting, you need to calculate the number of people have arrived in that root node. So at that time, it will be very helpful. Okay, now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So I'm going to have the adjacency list at the start. Then I'm going to append each and every node from the inputs to my graph created I'm just copy pasting it since it's an undirected graph we have to do twice Then I'm going to create two global variables. One is my answer, which is the number of minimum cars required. Then the visited set. Then I'm going to write my DFS function. So initially I will take the starting node. Then I'm going to have people that is the representative at each and every node. So I will just leave it as 1 at default, right? So whenever I visit, I'm going to add that in my set. 
at that particular node in my set. Then I'm going to do my DFS from each and every node. If the X is in my visited set, then I'm going to just continue, check for any other nodes. Otherwise, I will add that to, I will take this as a my root node, right? Then I'm going to perform DFS. After finishing my DFS, I'm going to add that to my minimum cars required, right? By calculating. So the C will give me the next whole integer, right? When you have fraction. So people divided by seats. I will only add if it is not my zero, that is my capital. So I'm writing an if condition within itself. So this if condition states that if that particular node is not equal to zero, then I will do this calculation. If it is zero, I will not perform the calculation. I will just add zero, which means that particular person is already in capital. So I don't have to include in my calculation, right? Then I'm going to return P2. So initially I will start from the zero node that is the capital. So finally after performing my DFS, I'm going to return my answer. I think it's fine. Let's run the code. So the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of n as well. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.